unbelievable. Vehicle inspection officials on Monday escaped lynching by the whiskers when drivers plying the night mile to Iwolo Road besieged them following the transport operatives' alleged extortion of motorists. The ever-busy road stood still for almost two hours following the siege by the drivers. They claimed the operatives began work on the road about a week ago and had been extorting them. Chukudi Ezenwa, a driver, said, These operatives collect as much as 10,000 naira from us over minor offenses. They check papers, tires, wheel spanners, and brake lights. And when you default in one, they bill you heavily. I paid 10,000 naira yesterday for not having a fourth note on my tire. It is disgusting. Monday's outreach followed the insistence of the operatives that every commercial vehicle that passed or passed must be checked, including the expiring dates of tires. A conductor whose name could not be ascertained said, they demanded our wheel spanner. We gave it to our colleague plying on the same roads today. So because we didn't have it, they asked us to pay 10,000 Naira. We then called our union, and that is how we blocked this road. This is not a federal road. Vehicle inspection officials should go to the federal roads. They collect 200 Naira from Okada riders daily. If this continues, the hashtag and VIO will start. Things are hard, and we can't hand over our struggles to these people. It was reported that the chairman of Eziagu local government area, Mr. Chukudi Ani, physically checkmated efforts to lynch the transport officials. One of the drivers said, this chairman respects himself, otherwise we would have dealt with these criminals. The VIOs left federal roads and came to Iwolo Road to deal with us. They are criminals. Mr. Ani, while addressing the protesters, said, we have sent messages to concerned authorities. The governor is aware. There will be no more motor checks on this road, he said. Reports has it that about seven operatives of the traffic officials were beaten, with some of them escaping the onslaught into the bush. One of them, NG Ungu, who said he was from AK, a community close to the area, was captured, but was saved by the prompt intervention of the Nigerian police that whisked him to their office for interrogation. It was gathered that police operatives who were allegedly extorting money from motorists about one kilometer from the scene of the incident abandoned their duty posts when they got the hint of the driver's outrage. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this one. You know, there's a lot of things are happening in this country with the way uh, things are going. Everybody's angry. Everybody is angry. The Fulani headsman has caused everybody to be angry. The president has made people to be angry. Gov state governors have made their citizens to be angry. Everybody is angry. The issue of the COVID-19 has made people to grow angry the more. Hunger, unemployment, no jobs, so many things. People are angry. With the way things are going, with the way that things are going, people have no choice but to begin to express anger. It is sad and unfortunate that this is happening in this particular uh, time and day, that people 
who are supposed to be um, enjoying the dividends of democracy, enjoying governance, are suffering so, so much. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Cases of police mounting checkpoints, army mounting checkpoints, all collecting money, road safety, the same thing, um, VIO, the same thing, all of them mounting checkpoints, different checkpoints on different roads. In some cases, just a few kilometers interval, it's either you see uh, a, 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 a police checkpoints, after that, the next one, you might just see an army checkpoint, after that, you might see a road safety checkpoint, after that, you might see the VIO checkpoint, all in the bid to collect money from people, from motorists. And to a very large extent, the motorists sometimes have to increase their fare charges because of all this sorting and extortion that is going on. At the end of the day, the whole impact falls back to the masses who ply, uh, who, who take public transports. So guys, you can see that the level of injustice, corruption, and uh, impunity in this country is massive. And it didn't just start today. It has started for quite some time. And nobody seems to be able to do anything about it. The authorities are not taking the needed steps. Nobody seems to be taking responsibility. Honestly, it is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected, but I don't know how we are, able, how we are going to do this in this country. If not, it's going to be a serious issue. It's going to degenerate to a serious issue. Like as it was reported, one of them says, if care is not taken, there will be an end VIO protest. The end SARS protest, you know, that happened in the October last year was just um, uh, tips of the iceberg. If the government does not nip all these issues into the board, it shows that there might just be another uh, protest. And at the end of the day, it's not going to be easy. This government has really, really failed Nigerians. This government has really, really destroyed so many things. I don't know if Nigeria will be able to recover from all the destructions, disastrous um, decisions that this administration has taken. It is sad and unfortunate. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.